Hello. How are you today? Hello. Hi, hi. Great to see you. Thank you. How are you? Hi. Excellent. Ready, ready for another another day? Yes. yes. But today I'm tired. You're tired, yes. It's almost Friday. <laughs> yes. Right, it's almost Friday. And when we get to Friday, we go like down, down, down with the energy. Yeah. Usually for Fridays, we, I don't have energy. <laughs> mm. I just want to sleep. Yeah. Oh. Friday is a good day for sleeping. Well, for Saturday. To sleep early? Yes. And wake up <laughs> late on Saturday. You can make it on Saturday. Yes, definitely. Saturday and Sunday, right? Yeah. For well, next week you will be sleeping early. And I have free on Monday. No. I will I will free. Oh, you will be free from work. Yes, because oh. it's Labor Day, I think. In the United States? In the United States is, is Labor Day. Ooh. We we have holiday mm -hmm. when United States have holiday has holiday okay okay that's nice yeah that's nice that means that you have thanksgiving black friday yes mm -hmm. president's day yes. <laughs> and that's nice the only difference uh, the only bad thing is that you don't have the vacation in salvador or do you no i don't oh, right no okay what if they have the vacation from the United States? Yes. Sometimes it's good because you have a working day here to to do all the things that you need to do. Mm -hmm. Exactly. In banks, and supermarket. Uh huh. Exactly. You can do different things. And sometimes it's not so good because yeah. you, you, your family mm -hmm. go to vacation and you have to stay and here. You are working, exactly. But it's, I remember before when Mother's Day was, a, was not a day off. I remember just public schools were on vacation, public employees, but the private ones were working. And I remember I was always working and my daughters and husband were on vacation. <laughs> so that was sad. But now that's good that now we are all, well, no, my daughters, no, not this time. But now at least my husband and I are, are on vacation. When it is a Mother's Day, Father's Day, we're off, mm -hmm. right? But in the past, no, I was the mother and I was working. So that was a disadvantage. <laughs> yes. Vamos a ver cómo estamos. I see hmm, eight here. Well, it's better than yesterday. Adriana Sofia. Present. Ana Alicia. Ana Ana. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel, no here. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present. Okay. 
Yo haré en San Miguel, Edwin. Mm, yeah. Okay. That's why I hear you very far, far, far. Okay. Elda, Cristina. Elda. Present teacher. Nice. Elmer Fabricio. Elmer. Grace Michelle. I saw you somewhere. Grace. Grace, Grace. Grace, Grace, hello. Ivon e, Marcela. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. Jessica Lisette, Jessica, José Alberto, Karen Janet, Present teacher, Carla Lorena, Present teacher, okay. Elise Dayanara, Good evening teacher, Hello, good evening. Lizeta Yanara. Nubia Sulema. Nubia Nubia. Nubia. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Nubia. Sí, teacher, present. Ok. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Victor Manuel. Karen Stephanie. Karen Karen. Adriana Marcela. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Okay. A ver, anybody who has connected after I call you, Ana. Me. <laughs> eh, Ana Grisel, no. Me, me, Yvonne. Yvonne. El mi teacher, Ana Alicia Valle de Molina. Sí, Ana Alicia. Sí, le reconocí la voz cuando entró. Vamos a ver, Elmer, no here, right? Elmer, Grace, Michelle. Grace, Grace. Grace, hello, hello, hello. No. Jennifer Elizabeth. Lise Dayanara. Victor. Karen Stephanie. Adriana Marcela. Oops. Bueno. Bueno, ya vemos 13, 14 with me. Nice. Okay, let's share. Uh, you know, today it's our class number 20, 20K. Vamos a ver. What number? 23. 23, 23 exactly. Class number 23. Bien, Jalan, yo digo que estamos todavía en agosto, ¿verdad? It's September. September 1st. Beginning with the month of the donuts. Do you like donuts? 
Yes, no. Hmm? Do you like donuts? Yes, no. teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, I love it. <laughs> I ate a donut today because uh, in my at my work, uh, a partner uh, buy uh, donuts, donuts. So I bought donuts. So we share donuts in with the coffee in the afternoon. Mm, nice for giving energy. <laughs> well, I will buy donuts until next Tuesday. No, before, not before, because I have to make a blood exam. So mm -mm. I don't want the exam to lie because I have been eating donuts. So, uh -uh. Better after, after Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, I can eat one. And the following week, another one, right? Until we finish in September. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, move. I'm sharing, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Am I sharing? Yes, yes teacher. You sharing the screen? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So today we are talking about safety measure manual the safety measure manual, and we're going to do the conversation where people are discussing about that safety measure manual, right? And of course, you will have time to create your own safety measure manual. Okay, check the questions. Would the lack of safe, safety measures put the operations of a business Danger. What do you think? Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? What could be some effects of the lack of safety measures? I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go and discuss these two questions. And remember, um, which are the effects of not having, right? Of not having a safety measure plan. That's what you're going to tell me there. Let's see, we are 15. I'm going to make four groups. So you go discuss in groups. There you go. Try to join. Nice, nice. Extra teacher. Teacher, can you please uh, send the the capture the screen at the group for discuss, please? That's the manual. And in what page? Thirty-eight, I guess. Let me tell you. Oh. Okay. Oh. <clears throat> page thirty-eight. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah. No, oh no, no, es en la no teacher. Oh, sí. Ah, sí, es cierto. Vale. Lo voy a compartir. Vale. Ahí está, me avisa cuando puedan ver. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, would the lack of safety measures put the operation of business in danger? What do you think? Okay. 
Ah, uy. Espérame. Call the lack of safety measures put operation of a business in danger. Company. Another word that you can use uh, in, 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 in lugar de, I don't know how to say, job, jeopardy, peligrar, comprometer, poner en peligro, arriesgar, ocasionar, dañar. In, uh, you can use both in danger or jeopardy. Talking about uh, safety measures, I think. Yep. Uh huh. Okay. What do you think about the question? What could be some effects of huh? the ones that I mentioned? Uh, to me, at the at the at the first, or at first is, uh, it is. How do you say it's about law or rules? When you are saying that. Okay. Mm -hmm. you? The probability that causing an accident is, is more higher than mm -hmm. if the company uh, give the people in instructions and before they use the the machines and mm -hmm. equipment okay so I wait, wait for you Okay, in my case, uh, the question number one is yes, because the accidents uh, dismotivate uh, the staff. Uh, it is dangerous uh, for, the, for the operation and in principle for the staff. And mm -hmm. the second, second question, <clears throat> Is uh, what could be some effects of? Mm -hmm. uh, I think the the close of the operation is the principal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Close of the operation for no. Uh, no but no. Other words. T H E. Uh -huh. uh, lives. L I B. No. L I B E S. Lives. Lives. Uh huh. I see. Mm. Uh -huh. Of employees, no sería life. No. The life. I, I think lives. Ya yeah, en plural, no it's okay. Está bien como la había puesto. Así, lives. Acuérdese uh -huh. que cuando usted cambia a plural. La letra, eh, por ejemplo, palabras que terminan con F o F, la el, the pass, Change the. Uh -huh, exactly. The F change to B, and then you add yes. Okay. Okay. 
And I, teacher, and I of, think. Mm -hmm. Of employees and a company's production. Okay. At risk. Repeat, please. At risk. <coughs> yes, Victor. Uh, my comment is for the teacher, but I don't know. I want to tell me to be, to be sure if I can uh, omit the word that I think the lack of security omit that. See, sí, you can use it or you can omit it as you wish. Okay. No altera. Uh, that igual. Uh -huh. So you can okay. we think that the last the lack of security measures puts I am in, in with S puts the lives of employees of a company at risk. Pero productions ya no van. Notice. Or in risk. Mm -hmm. Okay. O pueden decir, we think, the lack of security. Pero como que al ponerle el D le da un poquito más de, más de énfasis. Entonces mejor déjelo con el D. ¿Verdad? Okay. What could be some effect of what? What could be some effect of effects of effect? Ah. Effects. Effect. 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 Effects. <sighs> Ay, dicha, me siento pero fatal. Desde ayer. Y ahorita le digo a Nubia que me cayeron unas gotitas y me dio frío. Ay. Las gotitas de agua son malísimas. Es peor que mojarse bien. Uh -huh. es, sí, pero toda la tarde casi ha llovido fuerte. That's true. I was lucky that I am in exam, so we are online right now. Mm -hmm. So I didn't go out. <clears throat> but it's true, it has rained almost all day, not just the afternoon, but almost all day. Well, since uh, noon, right? Since noon, it has been raining. Mm -hmm. Here in Sonsonate, um, de la dosa, teacher. Uh -huh, exactly. Oh. At noon, it started raining at noon here. Vashamelo, <coughs> chavale, mm -hmm. ya, you finished, right? Yes. Okay, perfect.
teacher microphone. Oh, so sorry. I always forget that when I come back from the room, from the mini rooms, I'm silent. Vaya, let's see. Uh, I need volunteers or victims. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? What do you think? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Would the lack of safety measures put the operations of a business in danger? Yes, it will be because if you don't have a safety measures, you could uh, have uh, accidents and in the worst of case, uh, uh, how do you say pérdida de vida? A loss, life losses. Life losses. Mm -hmm. And I think this is the, the most important that uh, the, the, uh, the empresas the main idea or the main uh, mm -hmm. the main idea of have safety measures uh -huh. in in every in every company. in every company but uh, we was talking about that Where? in your house we were talking about that mm -hmm. in your house is important have a uh, safety measures too for uh, natural disasters exactly exactly and and imagine those, well, not only with natural disasters, right, but with different situations that you have to, that you have to watch, especially if you have children. Because sometimes the children, well, they don't think about the danger. And it's the parents, the ones that have to be paying attention to what may be dangerous for the child and to keep the safety measures. So yes, even at home, it is very necessary. Okay, what could be, what could be some effects? Mm -hmm. What could be some effects? Who wants to cheer? Employee absence. Okay. What else? Close the companies mm -hmm. or, or demands? Demands, may get demands, okay. What else? Employee insatisfaction. Insatisfaction. Mm -hmm. Insatisfaction. Yeah. Or dissatisfaction. Yeah, dissatisfaction. So imagine if, of course, if the workplace is not safe, people will not be happy, right? Okay. Now let's move to the conversation. But before, I want you to make a mini review of what we were talking about yesterday. Do you remember? Can you complete that sentence? What is a forklift? Do you know? What is a forklift? Monta carga. Uh -huh, exactly. What may happen to a person if they have an accident with one of those machines. What may happen? They may lose a foot <laughs> as a minimum thing, right? Okay, can you complete the sentence using passive voice? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. I'm going to show you the first one. A person was run up by a forklift. O sea, que fue atropellada, right? For a forklift. What about the second? 
An employee, an employee's eyes. ¿Qué le pasarían a los eyes? An employee's eyes. Yes. An employee signs. Okay. How do you say irritar? Hmm? ¿Cómo se dice irritar? Picar. No, irritar. Oh, irritated. Oh. Uh -huh. An employee signs. Okay. Was irritated. Okay. Where? In plural, right? Where? Oh, yes. Where okay. irritated. Hmm. Oh, we're hard, right? Oh, okay. An employee's eyes were hard by excessive quantity of dogs. What about the other one? The supervisor's accident? The supervisor's accident? ¿Qué pasaría with that supervisor? Yes. yes. Was caused. Was caused. Causada. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Was uh, was caused by the slippery stairs. A lot of other strips. Remember, we were mentioning yesterday that those are like some of the possible hazards, right? Uh, risks or hazards that we can uh, have in our company. Okay. But now look at the vocabulary and then we will go to the conversation. What you're going to do here is read the definitions we have some effects right we have some effects caused by hazards and risks some of them are contaminations contamination casualties property damage loss of customers financial loss business interruption so what you're going to do here is match these effects caused by hazards that some of, of them were mentioned by you yesterday and some others today and match them with the correct definition. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to share and let me tell you what day she will be working. It's page 38. We continue in page 38. Yes. Page 38. Ready? Yes. Bye. Five minutes and then we come back. There you go. Try to join. Try to join, try to join. Check the invitation that you got. Stephanie, check it. No tenía tanto tiempo tampoco. The number one contamination. I think it could be this. Waste residues that are handling properly. 
scatter to other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Right. Then I think number five is this. The company lost There's money. money. Uh -huh, fine, a lot. Oh, this is, mm -hmm. Financial loss? Financial. Financial. Come financial. on. Financial. Financial. Okay. Then this one is number six. The production is. Stops. Production stops. I have business interruption. Interruption. Property damage. Property. I seen machine of of them break break down. So this the production stop. I know, it's the machine, <laughs> machine of them breaks down. Machinery. Back. Machineries. Yes. Machinery breakdown. Machinery breakdown. Okay. Lost of customers. Lost of customers. Mm -hmm. uh, the production stop. Yes, yes, customer switch another provider button on a ship. Uh -huh. Could be two, could be two. Lots of customers. The companies lose money. <laughs> could be. Sí, yo creo que la cinco, la cinco es la de the company lost money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Main. Okay. Uh -huh. The financial okay. loss, the company lost money. La the for uh, loss of customer is customer which to another provide uh, of business. Mm -hmm. uh, Abajo de la cinco tengo yo la cuatro. Uh -huh. Sí, los customers. <coughs> eh, eh, Elda es verdad la que está con nosotros. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Elda, eh, la abajo del dos, uh -huh. creería yo que es la seis. I have the business interruption. And the yes. first one is property damage. Yes. Machines have been break down. Property damage. Mm -hmm. Esta va fácil. So so. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, teacher. Yes. Almost coming. Ten seconds. Okay. We are back. Batch. 
There we go. What is the first one? Machines often break down. Machines often. Three property damage. Mm -hmm. Yes, property damage, very good. The company loses money. Financial loss. Financial loss, very good. Customers switch to another provider business. Loss of customers. Mm -hmm. Yes, loss of customers. Employee dies in an accident operating a machine. Casualties. Mm -hmm. The production stops. Business interruption. Waste residues that are handled improperly scattered other areas and cause the areas to be closed down. Contamination. Yes, very good. Very, very good. Any questions here? No, teacher. No questions, perfect. Okay, now check this. Look at the paragraph. You will find some sentences in passive. Yeah, what you're going to do is underline the sentences in passive. I'm going to give you a minute and then we check. Mm -hmm. Have been have been have been okay. Have been let's get a pin. The manager has not been informed. Have been left, right? Have been left disorganized. Another one. What's the safety name? manager has not been informed. Has not been informed. Very good about the new safety measures. What's the next sentence? If has he been has been interested. interested. He has been interested. Very good. And the last one. Has been out to follow. Mm -hmm. Employees have been taught to follow with the rules. Very good. Okay. These are passive sentences. Okay, repeat after me. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. It I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. I wonder Hopefully, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. Hopefully, the new employees have been the book. Okay, one more time. Many tools have been left disorganized all over some working areas. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. It seems like the safety manager has not been informed about the new safety measures. I wonder if he has been interested in doing his job lately. 
Hopefully, the new employees have been taught to follow the rules by the book. By the book. Excellent. Well, let's go now to the conversation. Uh, Gladys and Miguel are talking here. They have just finished working on a risk assessment analysis and the creation of a safety measure plan. Now they are talking about a competitor at the eye of the storm. So what you're going to do right now is listen first and then you will listen and repeat with me, okay? I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about some of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news. And very bad publicity for the company. Yeah let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss, totally. I'm so relieved that we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Now let's repeat. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment. With the risk assessment process. And the safety measures manual. And the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree, I couldn't more. agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machi machinery. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my. oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Such bad news. That's so bad news. And very bad publicity for the company. And very um, bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. Yeah, let her yeah, know no, what no, no, is. A shame of negative effect might be on the way. A shame of, a a shame of, of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers. Loss, loss of customers. customers. Loss of trust in the organization. Loss, loss of trust in the organization. And, organization. and eventually financial loss. Totally. 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 I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measures manual. I I'm so relieved we're, we're done with the safety measures manual. Now we want to plan it in education. Now we want to reduce accidents as much as possible. To reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, any questions here? No questions? Teacher, no, aquí, pero anteriormente que lo que estábamos leyendo decía Hopeful. Hopeful. ¿Qué significa? ¿A dónde vamos? A ver? En este. En, en, la, en la última parte. Hopefully. ¿Cómo dice? Hopefully. Hop, 
Hopefully. Hopefully. ¿Qué significa? Esperanzadamente or something like that. Uh, okay. Thank you. Que fue volando. Vaya, okay. And what you're going to do right now is go practice the conversation and I will need this to share. Hmm, but okay, oh, well. um, well, it won't take us more than 10 minutes to practice the conversation, right? There we go. Remember, we continue on page 38. Page 38. I'm going to send you with the groups where you have been working. So if you are four, take turns to practice, okay? So you can practice with different people there. Anybody new? No. Hmm. Evon, share. Hey, check if you can join. Rebecca is going to share the screen, teacher. We're waiting. Okay, perfect. Great. Who wants to be Gladys? Si quieren ustedes dos y después intercambiamos. Bye. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our comp competitors. 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 Mm -hmm. Of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee died when manipulating oh. heavy machinery. Oh my. That's such bad news. In very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Rebecca? The company. Uh, yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customers, loss of trust in the organization, and eventual financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved that we're done with the safety measures manual. No, we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents in Uy, no veo. Uy, perdón. Ay, perdón. <laughs> no, it, uh, we don't understand. No, okay. we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay. Teacher, eh, verdad que ahí es heavy, verdad? Heavy machinery. Sí, heavy. Uh -huh. y, uh, how can you repeat how you pronounce? <gasps> ¿Cuál era? Because... Competitors? So, no. Sud. 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 ¿Cómo? They were sud. Sud. Sí. And what is the meaning? Sud. Vamos a ver. Oh, I know. Sud. The person who Receive a demand. Sí. 
they fueron demandados. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A suit is an Sorry. institute legal proceeding against a person or institution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and it's risk risk assess, assessment. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. what, um, oh. competitor, competitors. Competitors. Competitors is competitors. Competitor. Competitors. Okay. Competitor. So the organization and the financial boss. I read the order with the safety measure. Okay. Okay. If you want, we can practice again. Alfredo. Okay. okay. I'm gonna start. Mm -hmm. I'm glad. Yes, yeah, we changed for the first time. No sé quién va ahorita. No sé si. Ok. Eh, si ¿Te gusta usted, Gladys? Yo comienzo. Ajá. Ok. I'm glad we're over the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sold because of a plugin that was manipulating heavy machinery. Uh, Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect. Maybe on their way, loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization and eventually finance, financial loss. loss. Financial loss. Totally, I'm so relieved. We are done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. ¿Qué más falta? Okay. So, yes, pasamos todos. Ya yes, estuvimos todos. Okay. Ya nos lleva, teacher. Vámonos. Okay. Thank you. Good. You're welcome. No se quieren dejar llevar. <laughs> Estamos difíciles. Estamos difíciles. Ay, Rey. Almost, almost. Two seconds. Nice, nice, nice. Well, let's go to the attendance and then I will listen to volunteers, okay? Vamos a ver. Eh, Adriana Sofía. Present teacher. Analicia. Teacher. Hola. Allá la oigo lejos. Hola, teacher present. Allá hoy sí, hoy sí, ya la oigo bien. Ana Grisel. Ana Grisel. David. Present, teacher. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present, teacher. Elda Cristina. Present, teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Está Ilmer, no, ¿verdad? Eh, Grace. 
Grace, Grace, hello. Grace, Michelle, hello, hello, no. Grace, Grace, Grace. No la veo, no verdad. Okay. Quizás tuvo problemas. Eh, Ivonne. Ivonne Marcela. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Jessica Lisette. José Alberto. Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisset Dayanara. Lisset Lisset. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. Victor. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Diego. Diego José Alfredo. Hi teacher. Present. Ya le cambié el nombre. <laughs> Vaya. Aquí, Jennifer, ahí está. Ups, pacho. Oh, miren, ya somos más. Very good. Okay, I want volunteers. Who will be my volunteer? A ver. Mi teacher. Mi teacher. José Alfredo. And who, José Alfredo? Uh, Karen quiere participar también. Karen Stephanie. Vaya, go ahead. Uh, okay. Empiezo. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our comp competitors. They were sued because of an employee diet when manipulating heavy machinery. Machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effects might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization and eventually financial loss. Totally. Um, I am so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Karen, you choose one person and Jose Alfredo will choose the other one. Victim. <laughs> Okay, teacher. Big teams. Oh, voy a escoger a una mujer, Ivonne Marcela. Vaya. Karen chooses, Ivonne Marcela. Ok. And Diego. Alfredo, teacher. Ay, no, Alfredo, <laughs> qué barbaridad. Y como Diego no me dice present, ahí lo estoy llamando. Vaya, Alfredo. <laughs> no, bien. Nubia, ok. Ivonne and Nubia. Go ahead. To I begin. Me, teacher. Ok. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measure manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee 
die when manipula manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity, a chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Nubia and Yvonne. Now, Nubia, you choose one victim and Yvonne chooses the other one. Okay, Victor. Victor and... Um, Who, Yvonne? Déjeme ver... Um... Tiene que ser niña. No, no problem. No. Um, Victor. Ya, yeah, Victor y, y, y... <laughs> <laughs> Pobre Victor. Sí, Edwin. Nubia chose Victor. Edwin. Ay, perdón. Entonces Edwin. Vaya, Edwin, are you there? Edwin. Bacha Edwin. Edwin. <laughs> okay. Edwin, Edwin, hello. Puedo buscar a otra persona. Sí, porque creo que no está. Entonces, Jenny. Jennifer. Jennifer, 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 Elizabeth, entonces Elda, vamos a ver si está viva Elda, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm glad Victor and Elda, yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. so, I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measures manual. I couldn't agree more. Recently, I watched some news about one of our competitors. They were sued because of an employee <clears throat> died when manipulating heavy machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of trust in the organization, and eventually, Eventually, final financial loss. Totally. I'm so relieved we're done with the safety measure manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accidents as much as possible. Yeah, excellent. Very good. Two more volunteers. Well, victims. Victor? Choose one, Elda, choose the other one. I want to choose um, um, Davy. It's Davy. It's Davy <laughs> Kittle. I just imagined you were going to say Davy. Yes, yeah, I imagine. <laughs> just imagine. Are you driving Davy? No. No, no, teacher. No, I am. Elda? Um, Rosy, Rosy, ¿cómo está Rosy? ¿Puede leer? Sí, teacher. Okay. Okay. ¿Yo soy Rosy? Yes, I'm Gladys. 
Okay. I'm glad we're over with the risk assessment process and the safety measurement manual. I couldn't agree I could. more. I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't agree yeah. more. Recently, I WhatsApp some new about one of your competi competitor. competitors. Competitors. Mm -hmm. They were sued because sued because sued. of an employee died when manipulating have a machinery. Oh my, that's such bad news and very bad publicity for the company. Yeah, let's alone bad publicity. A chain of negative effect might be on their way. Loss of customer, loss of troops in the organization, and eventually financial loss. Totally. I'm sorry, a little. We're done with the safety mission manual. Now we want to plan its implementation to reduce accident as much as possible. Nice. Excellent. Excellent. Great. Now, let's move to the next activity that we're going to do. Check. You're going to uh, work, choose one of the most critical hazards identified in the previous lesson. Remember yesterday we were talking about risks and hazards. Uh, brainstorm ideas on how to prevent accidents related to that particular hazard and design a poster featuring three safety measures. If you say, teacher, pero es que no se me ocurre nada, I'm going to share with you one document that you can scan quickly with your partners. Um, I'm going to send it there. Well, I'm going to stop sharing, porque si no, su me regaña cuando comparto y tengo, cuando abro WhatsApp y está abierto el Zoom. Vamos a ver. I'm going to share uh, the, the document here. Go through the document before, right? Go through the document before you start creating your information. Okay. Uh, the name of the of the information of the material I'm sharing is identifying and managing business risks. Okay. I'm going to let it open here too. So you go through the information. I'm going to show it to you. You go through the information. Identify risks. You have some physical risks, some human risks, technology risks, and then how will you manage a risk assessment for this situation, right? So go through the manual, choose one of the risks presented, can be a physical risk or a human risk, they give you some examples, or technology risks, and share how will you manage that risk, okay? What would you do to prevent those risks, to prevent uh, those particular hazards, right? And you make a poster featuring three safety measures that you will take. But remember, you have to measure or you have to share the, the risk that you're taking and also the measures that you are going to put into practice in your manual. Any questions? Questions, questions? No questions. Mm -hmm. 
No questions. Yes, teacher, yes. You uh -huh. were telling us that we are going to make a poster. Sí. Ah, okay. A poster, a uh, Word document, a uh, PPT or something to share your information. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yes, yes. If you are on the cell phone, you can make a poster. <laughs> right? So you can quickly do it in your notebook and then you show it as you open the camera. So that's okay. Or you make a PPT or you work a Word document, depending on the machine that you're working and what will be easier for you, right? Mm -hmm. You have one example in the manual. Oh, an example of a poster. Let me check. Uh, this is personal work. No, it's in group. It's in group. But check. Here you have an example. You have an example of a poster, right? You have new safety measures to prevent false slips. So this is the, the, the one that you put on top is the risk or the hazard, right? From the ones that you will be reading, you choose one, get familiarized with the information because I'm going to ask you also about the information, right? So to prevent false slips and trips, remember to, so you tell me uh, the hazard or the risk and then what I have to keep in mind to avoid or to prevent that risk or that hazard. And you have the example here, to prevent false slips and trips, remember two. One, store all tools in proper location when not used. Two, keep all tools clean and in good working conditions. Three, wear all safety gear, while you are in this area, okay? So you're going to work, you're going to work as, as a group, check. It says group work, right? So choose one of the risks or the hazards from the reading I shared with you. Brainstorm ideas on what to do to prevent it. And then you design the poster where you're going to share with us the risk and the ideas on how to prevent it. Is that clear for you? Yes, no. Hola. Any questions? Vámonos pues. El que calla otorga dice en verdad. <laughs> Let's go. Jennifer, ¿en qué grupo estaba antes? Jennifer, vamos a ver. ¿A dónde la? Ah, aquí la vamos a mandar al uno. Me dice si puede ver la invitación. Check, check. Can you see? Can you see the invitation, Jennifer? Nice. Anana, try to join. Thank you, teacher. Could you? Could you send me again the? My, mire, 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 aprovechando, teacher. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Can I tell you? Tell me. Is that one of, of our, of my workplace, of my co-worker, co-worker, mm -hmm. co uh, we were talking about the English classes. He is an intermediate before us. Mm -hmm. uh, can I tell you right here or is not okay? Because know. we are in. You recording. This is recorder. Yeah. So I don't know what you want to tell me. 
he wants to come. <laughs> he wants to join. If no, if you want, you can write to me. You can send me a message. And we see how we can help you. Okay. Teacher, could you send me on a group? And, and I want to tell you something, but out of the out of the or of the class. Okay. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Ahí le mandé de regreso la invitación al grupo 2. Check if you can see it. Nice. Identify bueno. risk. Eh, bueno, supongo que aquí va en orden el grupo uno para, o no, no. sé, o podemos elegir cualquiera. You can choose any. Mm. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Now you're open to choose any. We could work with technology risk. What do you think? Sure. Okay. Sure. So, aquí. Technology. Technology risks. Okay, risks. Okay, No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Ay, no, 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 Vale, quiero ver qué era lo otro. Ah, bueno. Ah, no, pero aquí entonces tendría tu... No, entonces aquí podría ser... New... Ajá, you, you can put, like uh -huh. in general, technology risk. Ajá, new... Mention a technology risk in particular that you may face. Ajá. Right? Okay, but what would it be, Jose? Which one could be? Mm. Quiero ver. <laughs> Yo soy to, igual que usted, Adriana. Uh, I know. <laughs> to prevent mm. a drop, drop a derramar, uh -huh. Drop a liquid, no, beverage. Be, be rush own or equipment equipment and or technology equipment se me ocurre verdad no sé no sí está bien puede ser equipment Ajá. sería Se me ocurre don't don't drink mm -hmm. don't no avoid avoid to have a baby rush baby rush así se escribiría baby rush o era al revés las v las b no. creo que al revés vea ah. baby rush De <laughs> Creo que es de la primera forma. De la primera. <laughs> sí. Baby Rush. Correcto, teacher. Oh, no. Miguela, ¿verdad? <laughs> Baby Rush around. Sí, así es. Sí, B, B, primero B y después V. Ok. <laughs> Está bien. Vaya. Ok. Vaya. A boy to have. Beverage around the equipment. Se me ocurre. Having. Having. A boy to have. Okay. No, having. Y le quita el to. El to. Okay. A boy having beverage eh, around the equipment. Mm -hmm. eh, what else could be? Mm. 
Hi, hi. Or hi, teacher. <laughs> for example, a physical risk. I'm physical coming, risk. I'm going for water. Okay. Physical risk by building risk are the most common type of physical risk. Think fires or explosion to manage building risk and the risk to employees. It is important that organization to do following. Ah, vaya, o sea, solo como casi que es un copy paste de qué harías para reducir riesgos si fueran eh, riesgos físicos. Y aquí te da hasta la misma información. O si, de, si, de, si, si decimos human risk, aquí dice cuál es el human, human risk y dice cómo prevenirlos. To prevent Lose of productivity, assign a train backup personnel to handle the work of critical employees when they, when they are absent due to a health related concern. O si elegimos el technology risk, aquí dice cuáles son. Y dice, eh, por ejemplo, las medidas podría ser establish offline an online data backup system to protect critical documents. Por ejemplo, vea, esa oh. es una medida para reducir los riesgos tecnológicos. All through telephone and communications failure are relatively uncommon. Que los risk manager may consider providing emergency use company cell phone to personal whose use of the phone or internet is critical to their business. Así que, ¿cuál les parecería el, el, de todos estos? A physical risk. El, eh, ahí decía que era el más común de todos. ¿Está bien ese, Adriana? Sí. Para hacer un anuncio como el que el que enseñaste, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Vaya, physical risk. Vaya, lo que voy a hacer es, le voy a tomar específicamente a este un screenshot para hacerlo en cómo se llama en una cosa de fotos está bueno uh -huh. leemos el ah. físico el risk vaya léelo ajá dale en lo que lo hago okay Building risks are the most common type of physical risk. Think fires or explosions. To manage building risk and the risk to employ it, it is important that organizations do the following. Make sure all employees know the exact street address of the building to give to a 911 operator in case of emergency. Emergency. Make sure all employees know the location of all ex of all exits. Install fire alarms and smoke detectors. Install a sprinkler system to provide additional protection to the physical plant equipment documents and of course personnel. Inform all employees that in that in the Uh 
Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Estamos leyendo y para sacar la the first question okay. is the most critical hazard incident. Perfect. You can take turns to read together. Uh, Helda, Yvonne, you are ready? Yes. Yes. Okay. What do you think the trust of the most critical hazards identified in the previous listen? I think the the day, the day of the, the staff on the day of the person is the more critical. The human risk. What do you think about the critical hazard? For me, it's the diet of the person. Mm -hmm. And you? Yes, yeah, the same. Okay. Uh, what do you think about the how to prevent accidents? Uh, in this case, but how to prevent the diet? for the staff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> for How me, it's, it's clear the, the rules, rules clear about the procedures, 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 and, procedures, and, and the uh, protocols of safety, but the tools of organizer, uh, maybe. Uh -huh. You won't help. And in the document said that the people, the people that uh, made the the information, no, made the the plan to teacher, ¿cómo se dice mitigar? To mitigate. To mitigate the risk. Um, make sure that all the employees know the same the same inf information mm -hmm. uh, and how to to act uh, when the when the I uh, can't see when the um, the incident or the Incident. The situation, you can say. When the situation um, occurs. Occurs. Uh -huh. And how to act. <coughs> uh, if, if they have to call someone or, or what to do. For example, if it is a medical condition and they have to heal some injuries, um, it is very important that the medicina <laughs> is close to, the medicine is close to everyone. And Ay, no sé, a la vista como, como, como decir que llame la atención, pues, de, de que todos sepan dónde está. The Vatican. Uh -huh. The Vatican of Emergency. The first aid. 
The first side the kit. Part. Yes, the uh -huh. first side kit. Yeah, the first aid kit is in a nifty place, in a place where everybody can see. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we can do the the poster with the ideas. Um, we can do it like this one. Mm -hmm. And then? For example, I think they always do the right things. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Uh, always can do... be to prevent um, uh, born, o sea, quemaduras, pero en, en personas. Eh, or o sea, en la piel. Casualty. Casualties. Prevent warnings, you can say. Warnings, people's warnings. And then? Number one. Mm -hmm. uh, use it, no, algo así como it is mandatory to use the um, the property the property yeah. uniform for oh, uh, the... for use the to I know o the sea, protection usar, equipment ajá pero el, el la gente, por ejemplo, la gente que usa un soldador utiliza un, unos lentes adecuados, un uniforme adecuado para, para si le salen mm -hmm. chipitas y eso le llega a la piel, eso no los queme. Mm -hmm. That's when you say the gear, G-E-A-R, gear, because gear includes all the equipment that you have to use, right? Ah, ok, como el que está en el número tres. Uh -huh. Wear all the safety gear while you are in this area. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Microphone. Pues. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, Victor uh, Sherry, please. Okay. The teacher wants <laughs> Our risk, our risk was a uh, physical risk. Uh -huh. So we designed. <laughs> In the coffee notes, Victor. 
are you watching my screen? Yes. Yes. Okay. This is our, our, I don't know, advertising. <laughs> Your chart. My chart. My uh, poster. 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 Vaya, in number two, smoke. Smoke. The C and add an E after K. Not near the plant. No, E. An E after the K. Okay. After. Smoke. Uh huh. Not the smoke. C. Sí. Uh huh. Y la no, number four. How to use it. Learn how to use this thing. Learn. Okay. Learn how Learn. to use. Learn. Un N at the end. Learn. 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 <coughs> how to how use, to use the, the extinctor. The extinctor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Ready. Ready. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Vámonos. Everybody coming. Twenty two seconds. Perfect. We have enough time for listening to all of you. Great. Now everybody here, hmm, ahí está. <ríe> Se me habían quedado dos en el limbo. Va, pero sí ya vinieron todos. Let's see my first volunteers, group number one. Adriana, Marcela, Diego, Jennifer, José Alfredo y Karen Janet. Go ahead. Okay, I'm gonna share my screen. Perfect. Okay, we uh, discuss about uh, technology equipment uh, for prevent accidents, and this is our presentation mm -hmm. uh, to prevent accidents on our technology equipment. Uh, avoid having beverage around the equipment, respect the time of maintenance of the equipment for a good functioning, uh, the equipment has been used only by qualified staff. Uh, on case of emergency, bad functioning equipment report immediately to man, maintenance, maintenance mm -hmm. staff. Mm -hmm. Maintenance staff, mm -hmm. really. Uh, could the electrical source when the equipment is on maintenance? maintenance. Work? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And that's all. Excellent, thank you, Adriana. Nice, nice. And number two, let's listen to Adriana, Sofia, Annalisa, Edwin, and Rebecca. Who will chair? Adriana, Sofía, Ana Alicia, Edwin, Rebeca, Lolo, hello. Ana Alicia. Se me perdió. 
Ron en el camino. Hello. Hello. I am here. I am going to share. I was finished the, the photo teacher. I was <laughs> working so hard. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I didn't finish, but well, can you can you watch my our screen? Sure. Wow. Este, we were talking about physical risk in companies. In 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 uh, the first one. Mm -hmm. So they say that uh, when you have risk, you have to train your employees. So one of the the suggest that they that they do if the if if you know that the employees know your exactly address if you have an emergency to call the nine nine the nine one one in mm -hmm. Estados Unidos, but but right here call one two three or what? <laughs> B one so, three one three two or something like that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, the employees have to know the exactly address if if uh, if they have an emergency. So they have to know what is exactly the location that they are going to give the. It could be firefighters or the police station or whatever. Um, place that they have to call for emergency. Another safety training is that the employees have to know the exactly nearest, the exactly emergency exit. So, but the nearest that you have in, uh -huh. in your workplace. So yeah, if you have an emergency, Excuse me? You have to know exactly which is the way for you to escape. Yes, yes. Uh, we, we only have time to write these two suggest that they give us, uh, but that is a safety training for physical risk. Mm-hmm. And that's it, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay. So for you, it will be like identifying uh, the the address first, the location of the company. So if they yes. have to call emergency, they know where to tell them that they should go, right? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Exactly. And, okay, but that is if the emergency is already there. Uh, and what should you do in case you want to avoid that emergency? To avoid? Hmm? To avoid emergencies? But we don't have exactly what is going on on a daily day job. For example, and... and they were talking about the the physical risk for example a uh, with ya le digo with acid gas toxic dust dust toxic Fictions. dust uh -huh. or feelings and poisonous liquors or waste so uh, you have to take the right bottles in the right place for the employees don't have to use it uh, or or the children in uh, your case right that you're at the school or for example the children uh, can drink maybe they think this is water and maybe this is a um, uh, poison liquid for example ammonia in this time that we are using ammonia a lot of because of the virus. Mm -hmm. uh, we have to use the proper bottles and put the bottles in the proper place to clean, not leave it in the in the holes or leave it in the in the I don't know in the 
in the office in in mm -hmm. the offices yeah okay very good thank you anna thank you very much okay. now david elda cristina yvonne marcela and karen stephanie who will share david elda. i will share the, the screen teacher elda okay mm -hmm. elda beta yes Now we know who are designers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, many. Um, to prevent people born, remember to uh, use safer gear. gear for each area, identify extinguisher location, and all employees know the location of all exits. Great, great, great. That is to prevent warnings. Very good. Yes. Thank you, Elda. Thank you very much. And the last one, Carla Lorena, Nubia Sulema, Rosy, and Victor. Me, I'm gonna share. Okay. Are you washing? Yeah. Vaya. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Our our risk uh, identified was the physical risk. So this is our posture. New safety measures to prevent fire events. Remember to do not stay in plants out of laboral hours. Do not smoke near the plant and take on hand emer emergency numbers and learn how to use the extinctor. That's all. Okay, very good. Do you know how to use the extinctor? I know a little, just remove the, I don't know, the ring. <laughs> Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's, a, it's a secure um, press. <laughs> yeah. A, apunta al fuego, retira la, la escoleta, creo que se llama. Uh -huh. Y presiona y eso, pero no sé, no, sé, pero no, no he practicado, dice mi madre. I, I don't know how to use it. And it's very necessary, right? It's necessary. Mm -hmm. Who knows how to use it? Who knows how to use the extinctor? David knows. Yes. Huh. I have the everyone types of extinctor. Okay. I three principal uh, the ABC uh -huh. is the the polvo seco. No sé cómo se dice. Ah, dust. Yes, it's uh, the uh, yeah, the que se utiliza para temas de electricidad. Mm, yes, I uh, was going uh, to uh, ask you in what yes. case you use that one. Tipo C. Mm -hmm. Y está uno que de espuma que se utiliza para producto inflamable. Uh -huh, that's the one I know. Well, I have seen it, right? I have never used it, but I have seen it. Y uh, con el que hay que tener cuidado es con el de CO2, que es el que es para tipo eléctrico porque eso es como hielo seco. Y si usted toca la campanita, esa es la característica que tiene una campanita, o como una campana, como boquilla. Uh -huh. Entonces, si usted toca la campana, cuando está eh, tirando el extintor, se puede quemar una quemadura de tercer grado. Wow. That's very dangerous. Yes. So, that is only for electric... Eh situations when there is... no 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 eh, el CO2 se puede utilizar para cualquiera pero principalmente se utiliza en eléctricos porque no daña el equipo bueno. puede recuperarse okay. en cambio el, el ABC que es polvo químico seco ese apaga el incendio But pero ya el equipo, el equipo queda inservible sí el equipo queda inservible 
Y and es de espuma, no puede. And the foam, definitely you cannot use it in electric yes. things. Yes, right? that's correct, that's correct. Okay, hey, we learned something today. Excellent. Okay, thank you, David. Well, any questions, any comments? Questions, questions, no questions? No teacher. Nos podemos no, nice, nice exercise, teacher. <laughs> Mire, la question is, si ven, nos podemos echar, por favor. Bueno, I'm going for the last attendance. Vamos a ver. Sí, es que es un jueves como, con olor a viernes. Adriana Sofía. Present. Eh, Ana Alicia. Present, teacher. Ana Grisel. David. Present teacher. De la que Ana Grisel nos... David Present, me dijo ya David. Diego. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Grace Mitchell. Grace, Grace, no Grace. Y Grace. No, verdad, no está. Que la vi un ratitito allá al, al principio, pero saber qué le pasó. Eh, Ivonne. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jennifer. Present teacher, present. Okay. Jessica Elizabeth, no here. Jose Alberto, no here. Eh, Karen Janet. Present. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Carlita ya llegó a San Salvador. Sigue manejando. Perdimos a Carlita. No sé, Carla Lorena, Carla Lorena, pues viene manejando. Lice Dayanara. Except Ayanara. No. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebecca. Present teacher. Saida. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Y José Alfredo. Present teacher. Aquí. A ver. Any questions? Teacher, did you mention me? Okay. Sí. I'm present. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Victor. Okay. Bueno, vámonos pues. Hoy se quedaría conmigo. ¿Quién? Karen Stephanie. Teacher, ¿me puedo quedar mañana? Ah, ya pues. Veamos si se quiere quedar Adriana Marcel. Thank you, teacher. Bye, está bien, teacher. You make the change. Good night. You stay tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, good night. Good night. Teacher, can I send you a message? Sure. Sure, sure. By what me what media? My cell phone. You oh, have thank my... you. Okay, perfect. Okay, see you, see you. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night.
You can go sleep. <laughs> good night, good night. Hi, teacher. ¿Qué tal? How are you? With the little of swing. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course, that is normal. Yes. Normal, normal. And you, how are you? Fine. Fine. Finishing the week. <laughs> Finishing. We're still missing tomorrow and, yes. and Saturday, right? Yes. For Monday, we have to finish all the platform, right? Yes. We have to finish Monday. And okay. I finish. Yes. I, I, I. Uh, how you say adelante? Uh, I went ahead. I went ahead. I have the all the platform for. Oh, better. Mm -hmm. Better. Yes. Because if later you are busier, you already finished. Yes. And um, unfortunately, that you have the weekend to finish. Yes. Uh huh. See, sí, pero I decide to to finish. Uh, this week because I don't know I want to try to I want try to dress this weekend I need it better better I need it. the good thing is that you finish Monday and the next course begins mm -hmm. until the following Monday oh really but I I don't know if uh, in the bank send my my documents I you have I, you have up to Monday to send them. Oh, okay, okay. Monday. I'm gonna call tomorrow. Of course, don't send them the last day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm going to try to to call tomorrow. Mm -hmm. to... Yeah, the last day for you to send the the, the documents is Monday. Ah, okay. Está bien. I I have I still have time. Yeah, you still tomorrow. Have time. Call early tomorrow. Yes, eh, but I have to call uh, at the bank, right? At mm -hmm. our, our res, uh, at the human resource. Yes, you change okay. work, Adriana, Marcela? No, teacher, but I have more, more obligations. I have more obligations because a uh, partner, partner, ¿cómo es que se llama? Sí, a partner uh -huh. eh, is living the area. So all the things that she has uh, on charge are distribu distributed. Uh, so they have been distributed among all the ones that are staying. Oh exactly. And I have a process that is very delicate because it's an informe, a report, a oh. report for the boss of the boss wow. boss of the bosses <laughs> wow mm -hmm. so it's very delicate so in these days and i have to be in in capacitations and is the end of the month too so it, it was very 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 complicated the thing those is, days a part of being the the end of the month is like mm -hmm. all okay Exactly, and like then we have to the uh, and, and, semester of the year. At the exactly. time, mm -hmm. I know the responsibilities are, are bigger, right? Yes, yes, and we have a new process that include Guatemala because the bank has the idea have no has has the idea has the idea to to expand to Guatemala and Nicaragua, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm is no Nicaragua no Honduras Honduras mm -hmm. and so is a little chaotic sometimes yeah. wow mm -hmm. wow so yeah. it was difficult it was difficult <laughs> but next week you will be able to rest a little bit and recover the energy and everything ojalá es <laughs> que <laughs> I don't want to believe that yes definitely. because I need it, I need it. Hopefully, the, the, the most difficult part has passed, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
let's hope that. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't believe it at all because you don't think, no, you don't think. No, no, because we are on the end, near to the end of the year. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, the life is more difficult because you have to run with a lot of things. Uh -huh. I mean, it's a, a beautiful uh, time, mm -hmm. a beautiful epoch, a season, season uh -huh. a beautiful season, but the time run, 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 run. Mm -hmm. So you can, mm -hmm. sometimes you can... In September, imagine we just began the year mm -hmm. a few months ago. Maya. Exactly. I know. Yes. Was, I mean, these months are are crazy, crazy uh, in in all in all the aspects. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. a ver, let's see how. Let's, we end the year. Let's hope mm -hmm. that at least the first 15 days of the month are not too stressful. <laughs> the, <laughs> and yeah, because the end of the month is always crazy, right? Mm -hmm. I kind of <laughs> no, because it's uh, I, I I I with the report that I have to send that I that I say that is for the boss of the bosses. I have to present uh, until 15 of September 15, but I have to start to create until now. Mm -hmm. So today I was uh, trying to remember what I learned. Uh, I was uh, trying to, to, to recop recopilar. To collect. To collect, to collect all the information that I I can so eh, I vamos and it's the first time that I that I create yeah, the yeah, report the, uh, it's the first so, time you write a report exactly so it's a little mm, yeah stressing. But, but that's why you feel it like oh, mm -hmm. exactly you for a second time you will feel like ah. Yeah, ojalá. I hope I already know what to put here I know first times are not easy mm -hmm. Exactly. So I need good vibes, only good vibes <laughs> <laughs> for all these days. Vitamins. Exactly. <laughs> Vitamins. That's uh, this time of the year we should always wear vitamins. Yes, yes, it's necessary. It's necessary, especially in our system in women's. Mm -hmm. We are aunque no lo queramos aceptar, even we don't want to accept. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even we don't want to accept, uh, we are especially because our body takes the problems and all the things in a different way, I think so. Mm -hmm. And it's not like feminines, feminines or something like that, you know. It's really, it's, re it's an ugly truth. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. It affects us in different ways. Yes. That, of course, we can deal with many things at the same time. Oh, exactly. That's an advantage, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> exactly. That's an advantage that we can deal with many things. But at the same time. Uh -huh, exactly. That you should always uh, be careful, right? Yes. And mm -hmm. take like. Exactly. Yes, so relax from time to time and not get so stressed. Mm -hmm. Especially. Right. Especially, yeah. You're an accountant. An account accountant? Contadora? No. No. Industrial engineer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's hard. We uh -huh. I see process. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I see 28 process actually with my robots in the bank. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow, wow. Yeah. No, I cannot deal with numbers. <laughs> I prefer people. 
<laughs> it's it's nice. It's nice. Yes, we hear people rather than numbers. Numbers are like difficult, right? They are difficult sometimes. <laughs> but you you learn to love it. I, in my case, <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, and especially when you like that, right? When you mm -hmm. like that, it's like uh -huh, I can do it because. I like it. My daughter likes numbers. Really? Yeah. But if, when she sees a, ma a math exercise for her, it's like... Easy. Easy money. <laughs> but no. I don't like... Uh, well, I like math. But mm -hmm. I'm like very, very good at that. Uh, that's, that happens sometimes that you like, but it's not like I want to live on that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. So I can do it. Uh -huh. I can do it because if I have to do it, I can do it. But it's not. You have to. Uh -huh. But it's not like, oh, I love numbers and I want to mm -hmm. do something related to numbers. No. Mm -hmm. But in, in my case, I don't see too much numbers. Uh -huh. I, how I say, I see the process, for example something for saying when you make a pupusa so i have to see how to buy the the raw materials how to separate how to to make the the mass for example how to uh, prepare the the cheese how to prepare the chicharron and then how you're gonna take the mass how much mass how much cheese and then how you're gonna eh uh, and how you're going how you're going to put the the ingredients together how you're going you're going to to put in the kitchen so all those things are the process so mm -hmm. those are the things that i see not no, not too much know. numbers oh, uh -huh. ah, bueno, that's much better right? yes uh -huh. but it's delicate because in that the bank includes money in many of times exactly. mm -hmm. exactly. I, I mean I don't see numbers directly directly uh -huh. but the process included included mm -hmm. sí. so it's delicate <laughs> definitely definitely yes. but you can do it thank you <laughs> yes I know <laughs> I know but it's sometimes a necessary drama <laughs> yes yes but you are very strong and you can thank you teacher thank you well adriana i let you go rest okay and thank you see you tomorrow see you tomorrow good night okay. teacher okay. bye bye take care thank you you're welcome